It all went down on a Saturday. There were these two guys. One of them had black hair with a big scar down the side of his cheek, and the other one had uh, red hair about six feet tall. So how's this going down? Well, boss wants a clean job. We gotta be quick, we gotta shut him up, and then we're done. Man, why do we still do this? You know why we still do this. Daddy, I don't know what you want me to say, okay? I know it's a lot of money, but it can help the both of us. I, I know, I know, I know. It's your money, it's, it's not my money, but... It's the best. It's the best thing that we can do for right now, and I think we just need to talk about it more, okay? Can we do that, please? Okay, how about this? Can we just meet up at like 7 o'clock tonight for dinner? Awesome, awesome. Thank you so much. I love you. That was... I know, I know. You gotta relax, okay? Okay? Remember, we need a clean operation. No traces. Well, at least we know where he's going to dinner. We can just like camp out or something. I thought I recognized these guys from somewhere, but... I don't know. Maybe just deja vu. Alright, so he's going to dinner at 7. Uh, why don't we just sit there and wait for him? Oh yeah, just two dudes hanging out in a white van. Real natural. It's our only option. I mean, we are kidnappers, aren't we? Well, not by choice. Alright. I'll hide in the bush, and then you run out and silence him. No noises, okay? Okay, I, th I think that'll work. So when I saw the big white van, I knew something was up. Nobody drives a big white van anymore. Anyways, these two guys were inside. They looked really deranged, like they were ready to hunt. And I was about to say something, but I was just I was too worried about my own safety. You realize what we're doing, right? It doesn't matter, dude. I, I, we shouldn't care anymore. We've been doing this for eight years, and it's time that we're free and we're out of here. I just want to go home. I guess you're right. It's just... What about this guy? We're forcing him to live the same life we did. Just don't think about it like that. Think about it like a job. And this is our last day, dude. Final paycheck. Yeah, guess you're right. Let's do this. So the guy you're looking for, Thomas, just walked out, and I'm pretty sure he was going to his car or something. Anyways, these two guys jump out of a van. One of them just gets him by his arms, and the other picks him up by his legs, and they just drag him into their van, and they just sped off, and the next thing you know, I called you guys. Well, thanks for your contributions. This has really helped us. Can I just ask you one thing? Why were you there? I mean, looking at your papers, you live about six miles from that house. Well, long story short, I was just catching up with some friends. Well, all right then. You're good to go.
I just finished up at the police station. They believed everything. You got him where I told you to? Excellent. I knew I chose well all those years ago. Alright. Good work. I'll meet you there soon. You two can go. Well, Thomas, you have a job to do.